Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars of Ghana's players. Kudus Mohamed. Yes, he has played his first game for Ajax in Germany. Yes, in this preseason today against Dortmund. And what was the performance? We will talk about him as well. Then Brighton Hove Albion yesterday I brought you an update that according to Fabrizio Romano and David Oysten, uh, you know Brighton, they have agreed terms with Ayas to pay 40 million euros to sign Mohamed Kudus. But it is now left with Kudus Mohamed to agree personal terms with Brighton. That is what is now left. Today, Brighton's coach um, Roberto Di Zerbi, he has spoken about the deal on Kudus Mohamed. What did he say? We will check it out. In this video, Ghanaian players, most of them are really doing well today. Osma Bukari scored, you will check him out. Enes Noama appear, he also scored fantastic, also provided assist. In fact, a lot of the players are balling in. Nyaki Williams, Thomas Tempati, he has also won a trophy today. And a lot of the players are doing great. Let's talk about all of them and more. Some of them, we can get some few highlights. Others too, we will talk about it. But I have a lot of things to talk about in the video. I also make it very snappy for you in this one. Anytime you join us, please, what you have to do is like the video for me. Drop us a like after liking. If you are new, then you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Put us some post notifications so that anytime you drop a video, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. If you're on Facebook, please, Facebook, follow us. Follow us, then you share for others to enjoy. If you're on Facebook, you follow us. After that, you click on the share button, then you share the video for others to enjoy. Then you leave your comments as well. Now, quickly, let's begin from here. Today, FC Nordland, they played against Bromby. It was a tough, tough game, yes. And we have NS Noama up here. He's a Ghanaian ringer. We all know him in the Ghana under 23. He has also played in the Blasters of Ghana's last game against. That was Madagascar. He is really fantastic player today. He started and he made sure that he will also score and provide assists. You know, um, I have a lot to talk about, so I'll not really, you know, go into the details. But yes, his club side won by three goals to one against Bromby IF in the Denmark Super League. Right now, his club is really doing well. And he played 87 minutes. He got a rating of 8.0. Yes, he scored one, as I said already, and he also assisted once. Shot on target was one for him. Shot off target was one. Shot block were two. He attempted six dribblings. One was accurate. Accurate passes were 20. Average, um, you know, or percentage-wise, is 80%. So, I will not go much into the details. But he did well to have his club side. FC Nordland to win the game by three goals to one. We also have Ibrahim Osman, who is also in FC Nordland. He is also a Ghanaian winger. Right now, you know, as we have NS Noam Apia playing as a right winger, then Ibrahim Osman will also be playing as a left winger. Today, he also did well. He played 66 minutes, getting a rating of 7.4. That is out of 10. He was really good. He also assisted once in the game, and he had one shot, which was off target. The last game he scored, and today he assisted. He's really doing well for himself, and that is that. Now, let's move on quickly and talk about some other plays. Yesterday, we had FC Zurich. They were in action against FC Lugano in the Swiss Super League. And you know, Ghanaian striker, let me call him a striker or attacker, that is talking of Daniel, a free year banner since he joined last season. He was not really getting a lot of playing minutes. Yesterday, he started for the club side and he scored two goals. It was really fantastic for him as he helped his club side to get that all-important win in the Swiss Super League. So, they won by three goals to nil. And Daniel Free Banier, he scored twice to help his side. He got a rating of 8.6, playing 85 minutes. He also had three shots which were on target, one shot off target, dribble attempt were four, one was accurate, 33 touches for him, 12 passes, accuracy was 80%, and that is it for Daniel Efriye Bani. Now, today, FC Srevelina Zevza, that is, that is Resta Berlin. We have Osman Bukari, who also plays as a ringer for them. He has been fantastic. You know, the last time I brought you updates that the player scored today, he also scored and assisted again. He has been fantastic, yes. So, he played... 90 minutes, he scored once, assisted once, had 54 touches, gave 30 passes. That accuracy was 78.9%. And he also attempted one cross, which wasn't accurate, getting a rating of 8.9. Osma Bukhari has always been proving that he is a fantastic winger, even with the Black Stars of Ghana's team. Today, Arsenal, they played against Manchester City. I've already told you, Thomas Tepati, I've brought you the update, the video before this one. Yes, that one I couldn't do the sit down, so I just brought you some few reactions from the fans. Partey did really well. He played 90 minutes plus 
football he got some slight head injury but he completed it getting a rating of 7.0 he had 71 touches gave 51 passes that was of 89.5 percent one key pass in the game long boss he sent for two were accurate Pate was superb for arsenal today as he helped them to win the trophy the game ended one all it was community shield man city versus arsenal they went to penalties and arsenal won a penalty four goals to one inyaki williams was also in action yes for his club side that is athletic Bilbao. they played against manchester united and the game ended 1-1. In fact, Man United, Pelestri has to score in the 90 plus 3 for them in order to get it. Yes, um, Nico Williams, the brother of Inyaki Williams, he got the goal for Bilbao. Then later on, they equalized. Inyaki started and completed 90 minutes football. He attempted one dribbling. It was successful. Two shots on target. He also gave nine passes. That crazy was 64.3%. Touches were 26 and that is it for Inyaki Williams. As I said today, I will not delve much into the details. And that is it. Now, let's talk about Kudus Mohamed. <laughs> Kudus to Brighton. Yes, the latest is that I've already told you that yesterday, according to Fabrizio and, um, you know, talking of David Austin, they all confirmed that Brighton, they have agreed with Ayas to pay 40 million, pound, uh, 40 million euros. Yes, in pounds, it's around 35 million for Kudus Mohamed to join. But I told you that Kudus will not decide on the club that he will join. Whether he will go to I am you know Brighton, whether he will go to Chelsea, or he will go to Arsenal. It has been confirmed by Ayas that Kudus will not stay this particular season or for the next season he will move. Today he played for his club side as they played against Dortmund. Yes, they did well, but you know Dortmund has been fantastic and they defeated, you know, that is Ayas by three goals to one. And Kudus Mohamed, he played 77 minutes for his club side. He got a rating of 6.3. And in fact, he dazzled, he dribbled, he did a lot of stuff in the game that he was training everywhere. And that is it. But you know, the losing team definitely Kudus will not get higher rating like that. So 6.3 out of 10. He played 77 minutes. He gave 21 accurate passes. The accuracy was 91.3%. 50 touches in the game for him. Key passes were two. He attempted two crosses. Um, one was accurate. Long ball, he sent three. All the three were accurate in the game for him. And that is it for Kudus. He attempted six dribblings. Four were successful. And that is that for Mohamed Kudus. According to the Brighton coach, Roberto Di Zerbi, he says that after the game today, this is what he said, you know, um, concerning Kudus' deal. Dizebi on Kudu's deal, that is according to Fabrizio Romano, even he said it on their official YouTube account, so it was reported by Fabrizio as well as other, um, you know, major platforms. I don't know the situation with that deal. We have a lot of strikers. We will see at the end of the window. So according to the coach, Roberto Dizebi on Kudu's, he said that right now he doesn't know the situation of the deal. What the, the only thing he knows is they have a lot of strikers in there, but let's see at the end of the transfer window whether the player will move now it was also the same thing was reported by other sources brighton bubble also reported that the zebi on mohammed cruz deal i don't know the situation so well i have a lot of attackers we will see what happens when the transfer market closed that is what brighton official on youtube um actually posted so guys this has been the latest update i know most of the Ghanaian players are doing well but um these are some of the few ones i'll bring you updates i'll be adding more as time goes on kwami poku also scored for peterborough against reading that was yesterday yes he scored the only goal for them as they defeated reading by a goal to know and more updates will be coming let me know your thoughts on the comments box quickly let me give shout out to these amazing guys who commented under the last video uploaded before this one the last video before this one i have to do this for you guys i have abdo raza kipo you commented thank you i appreciate you so much a n g g yes a n g g 922 that's part of your handle name um also asking what happened to party i think i've said it already rufai abdullah also commented thanks for the update Oskani. i appreciate you so much too rufai i have mr lots sa4000 that's 4000 mr lots thank you i've seen you Ernest, I met a few also on this channel. Thank you. I've seen you. I also have user CF8TF. Thank you for being here. Foster Maunya is also on this channel. I appreciate you so much. Swanzi Kuje is also here. Imano Amani, you also on this channel. Thank you. I've seen you. Lolomi Mathias, you on this channel. Thank you for being here. And these are all the comments. Um, as of the time, I'm recording the video around 7.14 p.m today let me know your thoughts in the comment box don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is kenny tv and of course we shall meet later